question number 60 during joint mobility testing diagnosis of inner tissue lesion is favored by the analysis of and the options are these so first we need to know two things that is how to check joint mobility and what diagnosis of inner tissue lesion suggests so you can check joint mobility by various methods the popular ones are the active range of motion and the passive range of motion testing you can check enfil you can also check the passive accessory mobility or the pam test you can perform resisted isometric contraction and you can also do pain assessment so out of this ric and enfil is a very popular concept and both of these are given by seriax so now we will see what inert tissue lesion means or what does it suggest so here you can see as with inner tissue four classic patterns have been identified which was given by seriax with lesions of contractile and nervous tissue so in this case however one is dealing with pain and strength rather than pain and altered range of motion so by checking the joint mobility of inner tissues we are basically dealing with the pain and strength so the answer is option d that is pain and strength you can know more about this in the orthopedic physical assessment maggie book page number 40 so this is a part of rici that is resisted isometric contraction